I heard it from Amina today. And this is the last of my reasoning why I'm not gonna pick the person that she wants me to be with. She said it best. I personally, she says, uh, everything you say is meaningless. Oh wow, that's the end of it. Now you know the reason why I'm not gonna pick somebody that you want from me. If everything I say is meaningless, that's my passion coming out. So I'm not gonna pick somebody that you want from me. When you base it like that, no argument, no insensitivity, this is the same thing I spoke to you. I said it myself when I was talking to you the whole time. Nothing has happened and you're telling me how it's going to, what's going to happen, that's the end of it. It's done, Mamina. You're not going to pick somebody for me. That's the proof why you can't. You are now answering everything. It is gone. I'm not going to be with someone like that. I'm not going to be with someone like that. Boom. End of story. Meaningless. 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 It's not meaningful. Well, guess what? If you tell your own grandson what he says is not meaningful, what does that say about you? Tell me. That is the most broken-hearted thing in my life that I will hear is... Well, what you say isn't meaningful. Well, good. Then no wonder you're not going to be a person that I want to have in my life. I'm not going to marry someone like you, clearly, because of those reasons. You have just heard it from the, the great detective noveler of the Marcello. Integrity has nothing to say about it. It's the truth. I want my passion out there. And that's why. Based on everything that I've seen today, and I talked to Mamina a lot today, this morning. She went into saying about Sophia and hanging out with her and saying, Oh, that's a pretty good route. Sounds like a nice person to me. Uh, I said this. No, thanks. You're not going to pick anybody for me. And this isn't even something that started yet. I'm not about to start something with somebody like that. That's stupid. I had these feelings for Catherine. I'm not going to do anything stupid like that. And if I did something stupid like that, good. Congratulations. Chris, guess what? Catherine didn't have to do that. If she was going to force something out of me, get a life, good, have a good one. But don't speak to me again. You shouldn't be speaking to me if you're telling me to get a life. If you're not going to take that seriously, what I say, then end it. You don't need me in your life. I hurt myself when I shot. And that's exactly what happened here with Mamina. Saying that, oh, wh what you're saying isn't meaningful. Well, no wonder you're not going to pick the girl for me. And I don't want to hear anything about her. Don't you get it? Stop it! With passion from my heart, stop it. I've heard enough. Same thing I'm telling you every day, Mamina. I just hang out with you, that's it. I don't want to get involved with you that way. Sorry. I want my passion to be in a relationship, not just a companion. That's not fair. Wouldn't have these feelings for her. There's no voodoo. And if there was... I personally don't think so, because... I can read between the lines now of it. Being pushed away from it. And that's fair. It's a good answer. And that's all. So I'm screaming on the floor. But I don't feel that same way with you. Sorry. I can't do that, Sophia. From healing. And that's all. And that's what I need to say about Mamina today. Because when we got out of the conversation today, that was the end of it. That's when I realized what kind of person she is about this. I'm not going to listen to her choose somebody for me. I'm not going to be silent or content with what you have. I am happy and content with what you are as a person. But I'm not going to be silent and content with what you have. There's a big difference. If you think it's me not meaningful what I'm saying, it's the saddest thing to hear as a grandson. As a grandson. As a grandson. As a grandson. Bye, Mamina. You are gonna lose. Impatiently, with heart and passion. There's nothing else left to say in this whole thing. But I definitely will say this in five minutes. That everything is now driven apart. 
due to the fact that Mamina wants everything in her own way, it's okay. You are not driving me away from having a relationship. You're driving me away from having a relationship right now. You may have won right now in your own way, your retarded way. Your retarded way of not wanting to understand that if you want me to experience things at your own level, you lose, Mamina. You lose badly. I'm not going to change my life around for somebody else, but you already know that. You said, oh, well, you know, you went out and hung out all the time, and still, you know, I just tell you to do something for me, and you're like, oh, no, I have to do some stuff, and then, oh, you just wing it for them. But you said it yourself right now. you got to have fun in life. Yeah, but, oh, see, there you go. Sorry, Mamina, I'm not going to be in your life like that. That's not the kind of person I want in my life. You know that. You have a good one now. <laughs> we'll get him. No, you won't. You lost me at that point. When you said it's not meaningful what I say, I don't need anybody like that in my life. Bye. I don't need you to take me completely seriously, but I need you to recognize that I take it seriously. So you shouldn't be saying it's meaningless. You have a good life, Amina. And I better not hear you speak about anybody in my life, who I'm supposed to be with, what kind of person I should be with. I don't want to hear it. Have a good life, Amina. But you better not tell me who to be with. Yeah, sure. Keep in contact. All right, I can't. What? My grandma's trying to get me with you. Oh, and I'm tired of it. You don't want to be with me? No, I don't, personally. No personal threat there, but I honestly wouldn't want to be with you. Why? Because, um... I don't have that kind of feeling towards you. But what if you could develop it? If I develop it, then yes. But I personally have these feelings toward her. But it might be voodoo. No. My brother and my, my other people have checked. Nothing of the sort. These are genuine feelings. Wow. I must really love her. Yep. So I can't do that to you. That's a fair answer, actually. Wow. You really mean that, don't you? Yep. Uh, I don't want to do that to you. I want you to be happy with someone that personally will give you the same back. There you go. That's all I need to say. Yeah, have a good one. And that's all. That's all in this hole, in this is our imperial thought in arms. In thought, in arms, in everything a fart. <laughs> but, literally, that's what this conversation was about. And I'm, I'm not tired of fighting. I'll tell you that much. I, I'm going to tell you again to shut up and stop asking about my friends. There, I'm going to say it. Sorry, Mamina. You can't ask about my friends anymore because you want to judge how it's going to be in the future and what kind of person they are. Mamina, I'm not going to tell you anything anymore. How's that? And sorry, Mom. I'm not going to tell you anything. What? Because Mamina keeps on saying it. I, I'm not trying to shut you out of this thing, but literally there's no other way to get Mamina to shut up unless I don't tell you anything. Is that fair? Mom, is that fair? Yes. Thank you. Sorry, but I'm not trying to shut you out, but the fact is, if I don't shut you out, Mamina is going to keep on saying things. I know. Please, understand, this is the only way it can work. Damn. It's the only way. Please understand. Please, from the bottom of my heart, understand. <laughs> she doesn't shut the fuck up, it's going to... I want to blow my brains out, literally. If there's one thing I never thought about was suicide... But literally, with Amina, I think about it every moment. Damn. I mean that. I don't even think about it with anybody else. Only Mamina. Not because she can say all she wants that I was taken advantage of. I don't feel that way, and that's not how I feel. And I'm going to say that forever. So, live the boot, hide salute, and everything else, because that's it. I love her, and that's all. That's all. As long as greed's gonna be around, so am I gonna be around. And keeping feelings pushed down to, and feelings being pushed down your throat. Well, this idea of greed, 
Let's put it this way. Greed is so much in around. You know, a lot of people accept it as the traditional. Not even the traditional. Just the basic thing around this world. Well, I see it like this. As long as greed can be in every place, every thought, every idea, every single conceivable angle you could think of of every reality, a little bit of Marcello everywhere isn't so bad either. You could accept it. Accept the responsibility that so much is based on the fact that Look at the fact how people describe what loners are. Well, it must be somebody who's crazy. It must be somebody who could do something what the shootings are. Because, you know, of course, a loner always does that. Not really. I highly doubt somebody could act alone in any, any conceivable angle completely alone. Nothing acts on its own. Nothing. It's hardly a transgression to believe that because once... Things happen in people's lives, change, big change, not in a couple months. You don't have that kind of change in a couple months. Let's put it simply. Once something occurs that places you in a blame game, a blame game, put it simple, look at um, Christina. She's trying to make me feel guilty for something she did. We're going to break up. Well, hold it. You've answered for my feelings now. And you're wondering why I'm hollow. Well, you created the hollowness pretty easy to see. Once you answer for my feelings, what do you expect? I can't speak for them. You've answered my feelings. So it doesn't matter who I fall in love with after I'm done with you, as you're going to see it, because that's how you're going to see it. You're going to see it as if oh, I'm just done with you. No, that's not how I see it. You didn't give me an opportunity to speak my feelings on its own. You just wanted me to get argumentative. Well, guess what? I'm not going to be argumentative. I'm going to find somebody that doesn't want that. That once, as I said earlier, the biggest thing that most people want is a challenge. How about letting the challenge be the relationship, not anything else, not the person? You know, as I said to my friend at work, and as I said to many people, why don't you pick somebody that you like and you don't want to change? Let the challenge be the relationship, not anything else. Not how you think of the person, oh, I'm going to change this person, make him for the better. I mean, you know, it's the same thing at the grandma said. I'm going to set you up with somebody. Oh, my God. I dare you to find a girl that wants a guy who talks about his feelings. I dare you. Then give him my number, please. Here, here, here. I, I'll, give, I'll write down my number, give you it right here. I want you to find somebody that wants me for my feelings. Wants me for me. Not wants me for somebody else. Because, um... The truth is, I don't want to be with somebody just for convenience. That's why I haven't been with anybody yet. Because I'm not looking for convenience. I'm not looking for somebody just to have a good time with. That's all I want. Good time, you know. I may like people like Charlie Sheen and, you know, like... I like that he's honest. That's all I like. I never was like him in any way. I do like the fact that he became that kind of image of everything, talked about everything, ranted about everything, that's awesome. Because he's honest about it. To me, that counts more for anything. It doesn't matter what he does in life, the fact that he actually stands up for it. And that nobody can, but you know, nobody felt, the only people that felt betrayed are the ones that, that didn't do anything about it. Chuck Lorre didn't do a single thing about it, he didn't say anything, didn't talk about anything, he just fired him. That's all he did. So, what does that prove? He went, he went, he, he walked away with his, with his tail between his legs. That's all he did. Charlie didn't do that. He said, I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay everybody for the show because of this episodes we missed, or the episodes that were canceled because of what happened to me, putting me on rehabilitation again. He wanted to pay everybody back. Why would somebody who's lying do that? Nobody just gives money away who feels that they're telling the truth. Who has the idea of donation on their mind when they're selfish, supposedly. To me, that, that speaks stronger than anything else about Charlie Sheen, that he did things on his, his own... There's no agenda for him. He just likes what he likes, you know? Yeah, I think women are enticing, too, but this goes back to the general idea of what I've been talking about for years. You know, so you find me a girl who wants to be here. I'm going to say this again. Do you really think you can set me up with somebody who's going to accept the fact that I talk about feelings? Especially my own. You know, not selfishly. No, 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 no. 
If I was talking about my feelings selfishly, I talk about yours. I talk about yours, and I'd say what your feelings are. That's being selfish about feelings. It's telling somebody else what their feelings are. Oh, I know you don't want to be here kind of thing. And, you know, start answering for the other person. No. Now, I could understand saying something like, you know, I don't think it's fair for me to be there when I have these kind of feelings. Yeah. And I don't think it's fair for you when you have a relationship with the kind of strong feelings that I have. You know, and it's not unbearable. It's just that I can't be there if you're going to be sarcastic. You know, when, when it comes down to the bare bones, that's the, that's the fact of cohesion of any feelings. If you have genuine feelings, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that easy to hang out with somebody who's going to be sarcastic about your feelings. You know, it's not going to be like, you know, Penny Lane, Easy Road, oh, I could deal with this. No, it's not going to be like that. That's the thing about feelings, is that they're not supposed to be, you know, take, come and go, come and go, come and go. But you can make it that way on your own, if you want them to be. I don't want them to be. You know, that's why I'd walk away from issues where somebody would say, oh, well, get a life and do something like that. Well, that pretty much proves it's over. You know, you shouldn't be, you should be talking with me about it. And you should be able to deal with it with me. You know, I mean, to me, that's what true feelings are. True feelings are something you could deal with with somebody. You know, I mean, that's, as I was saying earlier, you know, I don't, I personally think that a lot of people want to challenge. They say, oh, I could change this person, I could change this person. Well, why don't you just give us somebody you don't have to change? I think that's true love right there is where you could be with somebody that you don't have to change, that you actually like for who they are. That you don't have to change. You know, that you could deal with in any occasion. You know, that's proof of it. To me, that's what my true feelings stand for. So, go ahead, set me up with somebody. I dare you. You know, I dare you. you know, I don't say that trying to scare you. I mean, to be honest, to be frank, I've been around this generation long enough to figure out that girls run away from people who talk about feelings. Or, they can't talk directly to them anymore about those feelings. Oh, no, can't talk about it. And they just make sarcastic remarks later on trying to get them to speak about it. I've dealt with it before, you know. The pressures of feelings. Oh my god, this guy has feelings for me. What am I going to do? Well, how about actually trying to confront this person with true, genuine understanding? You know? Seeing the crystal for what it is. Seeing the feelings for what they are. Not for you. Not for your selfishness, but for how they feel. And saying, you know, well, how do you feel? Well, you know, if you're being sarcastic, why should I tell you? You probably don't take my feelings seriously if you're just going to be sarcastic about them. Why should I tell you anything about my feelings if that's how you're going to feel about them? It's kind of pointless for me to tell you my feelings if this is how you're going to react to them. I mean, it's good to be jokey and everything, but if this is how your jokes work, then I'm not the right guy for you. That's how I see it with girls. It's like, you know, if that's the kind of jokes that you want to run into before we get together, I mean, it's kind of pointless at this point because... You're basically putting a blame on me that I never placed on you, and I never would have. So, like, you know, I mean, like, for example, some people want you to feel guilty if it doesn't work out. I don't feel guilty if it doesn't work out. I just want to be with the right girl, that's it, you know? And what, some somebody was telling one of my, one of the girls that I used to hang out with that I got feelings for and, you know, spoke about. It's not like I fell in love with every girl that I was with, actually, it was very rare that it happened. And when I spoke to them, ran off. But when I spoke to this one, she said, oh, you're not going to have sex until, like, 40 or 50. I was like, well, why do I care what age I have sex? You know, what does that matter? I just want to do it with somebody that wants to do it with me. That wants to be there with me my entire life. If somebody's not going to be with me when I'm 20, good. I don't want to just have one-night stands. I want to actually be with somebody my entire life. And yeah, that scares girls. I know that scares you, and that's why you're telling me things like this. Pause for a moment. Hello? Okay. But that's the whole idea. Sorry about that break for a moment. That's the whole idea of this, is that we're, you know, we're getting to the point where 
we're transfiguring a generation, supposedly. You know, that's why people say, do you have feelings for her? Or, I know you have feelings for her. You know, Christina's saying that. But Christina never got to the point where she said, I felt like a third wheel. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? You know, I mean, in general terms, for one, when you first started hanging out, you said, you want a guy that comes up to you, does this thing. Danny did that, right? So why would you be upset with me when I didn't do that? And you had feelings for me. That's kind of like, I have feelings for you, but this is what I want somebody to do. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you gotta realize that one has to go with the other. And if it doesn't, probably not the right person for you. That's why when I hear people say that, you know, oh, well, you know, this is the kind of person for you. Well, no, it's not. The kind of person for you is supposed to be the kind of person for you, but when I'm... When I'm, what I'm getting at here is that this whole greed thing, this idea of greed and saying that only one side can be the picture. No, any side can be the picture. And that's why a lot of people say like, oh, you know, I feel like this about this person or I want to be with this person. But a lot of times people don't get the idea that we're getting very frank with each other, but we're not being honest, you know. And like, like the only way certain people can deal with things, I mean, that's not me is to be sarcastic, is to be jokey about it. So, like, when I say, oh, I have feelings for you, and I want to, you know, get to know you more, I want to do some more, you know, I'm just waiting for the right girl, you know, and some girls will run away from it, some girls will make fun of you for having feelings. They'll be sarcastic because they can't deal with hearing about feelings. Oh, no, I can't deal with, you know, talking about feelings. I mean, that's, that's what this whole thing is about, really. You know, like, well, this guy doesn't look like he cares. Actually, it's probably the opposite. Until you want to hear about my feelings and, you know, invite me in. Not you, personally, but you're telling me you want to set me up with somebody. Um, I dare you. I dare you. And not in a way where I'm going to, you know, push them away or something, but I dare you to find a girl that will be okay with me talking about my feelings. Just saying, you know. And I dare you to find a girl that doesn't want a challenge. That the only challenge she wants is the relationship to be in. Not the person to be with. There you go. You know, you find that for me, I, I'll give you so many high fives, you'll, your hand will be like dry dirt. I don't know, it's a joke, but a bad joke. <laughs> I'm the biggest troll, you know, I'm one of the biggest trolls. If you, if you want to hear jokes to the high, high end, to the overboard, you're hearing them from me. I, I see it this way, that my relationship with somebody will either be long, or it'll be very short and they can't deal with it. True fact. True fact. It'll either be somebody who can't deal with a long-term relationship with me, or somebody who wants a long-term relationship with me. That's it. That's it. You know, that's all. You know, it'll be girls that'll run away from the feelings. That's cool. Congratulations. You prove nothing of the women in, in, that, that fought for every single thing that they've fought for. Because I want an equal relationship with a girl. I don't want to be a dominant one. Yes, uh, we could have dominance in the foreplay, sexually, that kind of stuff. I know I'm speaking kind of graphically, but it's true. I like that kind of stuff. But on the on the other front end of where I am as a person, I don't want to be dominated. I want my feelings, emotion, sensitivities to be accepted, not dominated. It doesn't make any sense. You know, if I'm not giving my fate to a girl, you know, if if a girl says, "Oh, Marcello, you're my fate." She's probably too obsessed with me to even see her feelings for me. I want to get a girl that knows her own feelings for me. And says, acceptably, I want to be here. Not feeling like they have to give up and give up everything and surrender to me or something. Some of the bullshit like that I've seen so many times I feel f not frustrated or flustered by it. But to be honest, I want a girl that wants to be there. Not that she's forced to be there. I mean, that's why people say like, oh, you know... You gotta be dominant in the relationship. You gotta keep them, you know, on a leash or something. Some of the bullshit like that. I mean, to be directly honest, no, you don't. True feelings never work that way. You don't need to keep somebody on a leash or shove your feelings down their throat. And I, you know, that's the one thing I never do is shove feelings down somebody, a girl's throat. I've never done that to any girl that I've ever had feelings for. Ever. I've told them my feelings, but I never shoved it down their throat. I feel that's that's a bad way to deal with it. 
And I feel like that's the one thing so many people do, and they think, they think that's love, like, oh, he's jealous. He must love me. <laughs> not true. At some point, they may not protect you. Because jealousy, once you put so much into that kind of thing, so much aggression, so much passion into one thing that you're not even putting into the relationship with the person, there could be an into that like nothing because there could be a death. And that may person not protect you. And you could see that next week, next day, you know, at one point there's going to be a point where that breaks off and the whole relationship turns into timidness. Oh, I feel so timid in this relationship. Well, because you kind of put all your passion into jealousy. You didn't create anything with the person you're with. You created something in your head, sort of sphinx, you know, some kind of pyramid in Egypt that you created, and you kept a halt in the relationship because you felt jealous of the people that this person hung out with. I can understand certain jealousies because there has to be. There has to be a stable ground. And there are going to be many you know, rocks that come out to the surface of the foundation that's built in the relationship that you have to kick. But if you start kicking the foundation down itself because of your jealousy, you're kind of not having a good relationship at all. You're destroying the relationship because you can't see the you can't see past the pr the prowess of your fucking insanity jealousy. Because to me personally, I want to be with the girl because I want to be with her, not because everybody else wants to. <laughs> you know that's why I don't get jealous because that's the kind of feelings that I have. I don't have feelings for a girl because everyone else does. Oh, you know uh, this guy. You know, like like let's say for example. Let's say, for example, I have feelings for a girl, and somebody else does too that I know. I'm not going to have feelings for her because that guy does. No. Or that girl does, if it's a lesbian relationship or so on and so forth, or, you know, gay or whatever. You know, let's talk about every single one, frankly. I talk about them all, you know. I'm not homophobic at all. I don't I could care less. I hang out with gay people all the time. And they always tell me, man, you know, you have a good attitude towards it. And you want somebody who is going to risk everything to not change you. That's all, you know. And that's what they like. They want that too. And one of my gay friends is like, he's tired of the bullshit people try to perceive as a relationship. Which is the challenge of trying keeping somebody that they want to change. You know, oh, I know I could change this person to somebody that I want. Why don't you just take somebody you want that you don't want to change and make the challenge of the relationship you're going to build with them. Because you know how strong a relationship you could have with somebody that you could do that with? How long have you been with him? How long have you been with your husband? That's awesome. That, to me, stands stronger. You know, and that's what I'm planning to do when I find the right girl. As this, as the quote in my back of my shirt says, you know, nobody, nobody realizes the comprehension of the future being at this moment. This is going to show my future right now. It may not with you, it may not with you. Maybe with some girl in the future who actually sees it and says, Hey, I want this. And I don't want this because I want to change this person. I want this because I like him for who he is. And I want to build a good foundation with him. I don't want to risk losing this based on my own ego. You know, you got to be self-assured about how you feel about things. And I know that's a bad word. That's a very bad word to have because if you're so self-assured, you might have an ego. Well, I'm not saying you have to, you know, but that's the thing about being self-assured. You don't, you don't overdo it. You don't like, um, you don't take the relationship and, you know, play it like hacky sack or something. You know, that's what I think personally. But there are going to be, there are going to be certain things that happen to start a relationship. And if you can deal with those first steps, and if you start speaking for somebody else's feelings, there we go. That's a strong one right there. See, because you're telling me right now, do you think fate is any part? Well, of course it does. But fate will always bring somebody back together. You know, if they really are meant to be together, then that will happen. I agree. But I do think that you have to still use your own feelings, emotions, sensitivities, and use it that way. Sometimes people give up too easily and just go with convenience. You know, and think about it. You know, I, I, I would say, like, I don't know, you say you want to be with somebody, right? Right. And you are. You got Dustin right now. You're with Dustin. You've been with Dustin. That's cool, and that's really great, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't put any damage on it. I say that's awesome. But let's say it doesn't work out. 
I'm talking in general form. I'm not even talking towards, you know, how I feel towards it or anybody. Would you just go with the easiest convenience in the next relationship, or would you actually go for somebody you actually want? You know, because a lot of people just go for convenience. To me, I might as well just go for a prostitute if I'm going to go for convenience. I might as well just go for somebody who has money if I'm just going to go for convenience. You know, that's how I feel about it. Not to say that there can't be some truth to being with somebody that you already know. True. But they may, they may not be the right person for you. You know, you could rely on somebody that you know, but maybe they're not the right person to be with in your life. To be with as your boyfriend or girlfriend, or girlfriend and girlfriend, or boyfriend and boyfriend, or whatever you want to call it. You know, whatever kind of relationship you want and perceive and have the idea of between two people, that's good. That's the right person for you. Now, to me personally, I know that what I want is not a phase. You know, it, you know, you can't phase me, meaning that you can't put a phase on something that I feel. If I honestly feel that strongly about the relationship, that's how I feel. And I'm not trying to tell you how to feel or you how to feel. You know, that's how I feel. All your emotions, feelings, sensitivities in one direction. That's the truth. That's all you have control of. I don't have control of fate. Now, I'm not saying I don't agree with fate. There is, let's say there is an idea of fate. Okay, that's good. But nobody should put it in their head that, oh, you're my fate. Because that means you're obsessing over the person. If you actually want somebody, you'll think, you'll think about them with your feelings, sensitivities, your emotions, and you'll start developing the idea that you want to be with this person. I think, as I said, I think too many people rely on the fact that they want to change somebody and say, oh, you know, they want to take that challenge on. You know, they want to take that challenge on. You know, you say you want to set me up with somebody. Go ahead. But you better find somebody that doesn't want the challenge. That The only challenge they want is to build the relationship, not change the person. Wow. You really want to be loved for who you are? You're damn right I do. Because I'm not trying to be dominant with somebody as a person. Now, sensually, in the relationship, we're talking... Yes, I'm going to talk deeply about sex and stuff like that, too. Those kind of things. It could be dominance, foreplay, that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. I'm into all that. But that's the one thing that I'm always going to say, is that those things are separated. You could develop those and still have that equal relationship, because those things aren't supposed to be developed. They're important. It's not even about the fact that I've seen like shows like Maury and Jerry Springer and all that stuff and seen how relationships can fail. I mean, like nothing. The big X mark by it, you know. But that's because too many people think that it's only one thing. That it may be just those sex keeps the relationship going. Yeah, I do think that there is truth to that. You better not treat your lover or the person you're with like an ornament. That's the truth, you know. If I was with a girl, I wouldn't say, you know, you're an ornament to me. I'm going to keep you for my pleasure. You know, my God, jeez, what the fuck? What kind of relationship is this? You know, that's how I would feel if I was the girl. Or the guy, even. <laughs> I guess you could say both. <laughs> but, I mean, that's why, you know, I never push feelings down somebody's throat. I never have. You know, even by telling a girl that I've had feelings, I never push it down their throat. Even though they may feel that way. You know, it's like, I haven't even pushed it down your throat. You're not with me, obviously, so obviously I haven't pushed it down your throat. If I pushed it down your throat, you would be with me. I feel that it should be equal, meaning that you have to have those feelings too. I mean, you want you want to be in that relationship. Not that you, you know, I mean, that's why I never push feelings down the girl's throat. Like, hey, here are my feelings, so you better hear them. Catherine, you know, think about uh, what happened last time with Catherine and Christina. You know, somebody being sarcastic about your feelings. Why would I tell you my feelings if you're going to be sarcastic? Now, I'm not saying, oh, I feel so hurt by you being sarcastic. No, it's that it's kind of weird to want to speak about my feelings if you're just, you know, laughing about them. You know, just saying, you know. And I'm pretty sure she still will be sarcastic about them. And she even said herself that it was just a phase. Well, if it was just a phase, and I mean that, then you're not the right person for me. Because if all of that was a phase which it's been showing because you're being sarcastic, then you're not the right girl for me. Because if you're just being sarcastic now, you can see that the image of what we created as even as friends 
before I got those strong, strong feelings and told you. Right there, it shows that, hey, here's the relationship, you know? And it goes back to what Christina was feeling, that first off, she said it was just a little flame that went out. Okay, then why would you feel like a third wheel? Doesn't make any sense to me, because if it was just a little flame and it burned out, it doesn't make any sense. That's a death sword right there. That's creating problems in itself. You're creating a problem that isn't there because you're creating the idea of reflection on somebody else's feelings. You're judging their feelings based on what? Based on how you felt at one point where it burned out? Well, then you're pushing, you're pushing somebody else's feelings down their throat and saying, hey, here's some of your feelings, here's your feelings, ah, the fuck? <laughs> Because it makes less sense than somebody else pushing feelings down your throat. The fact of the matter is, you know, don't expect things and accept the responsibility of the fact that somebody does tell you their feelings. If somebody's trying to be only about sex and something, you know, you'll know it. They wouldn't even spend the time to tell you feelings. They wouldn't. They wouldn't waste the time to tell you feelings if they just wanted sex. Why would I, you know, it's the same thing that I said to, what was it, uh, so-called Dustin, which was Tacola. Uh, pretty simple. Why would you, why would I waste the time to tell, to tell her my feelings if I just wanted sex? Answer that. Well, you can't answer that, can you? Of course not. You do realize that you're answering for yourself right there. Whoever this is, I don't think this is Dustin, because if this was Dustin, he would have called me. He would have just said, hey, Marcello, let's stop, you know. I just want you to stop having, you know, these, having these feelings for her. And I'll just say, well, you know, I did tell her respectfully from the beginning. And I said, you know, I know you're with your boyfriend, and I respect what you had said about him back in July and August. So I have these feelings now, and... I honestly have genuine feelings. That's all I get. You know, if it's a sucker punch, it is. But, you know, if it's genuine, it's genuine, you know. And, you know, you could see right through me on that one. I'm sorry, Catherine, but I've never forced you to be with me. So I don't know why you're saying, I know you, I know you want, I know you want me. Catherine, I want you to be yourself. So, if you being yourself is risked by being with me, then I wouldn't want to be with you. The same thing with Christina. Sorry, Christina, it ended because... And you say I'm being, you know, you can see I'm hollow towards you. Well, what do you think created that? You did. Christina, once you said, we're going to break up this relationship. Oh, well, hold it. Where do I have my say in this? Of course not. Christina, you made me hollow. You, ma you, you made no choice with my feelings. You made my choice with my feelings. How do you expect me to feel? How gracious of you for, for telling me how I feel. Which wasn't true at all. That's how you lost me. Do you think I'm going to be with somebody who's going to do that to me? Never. It's the same thing I said to your grandma that day when I was talking about feelings, sensitivities, and emotions. If I put them in one direction and I gave them to you, how do you expect me to feel when you try to control them and tell me what they are? I never once controlled your feelings, Christina. Never. Never would want to, never have to. I want you to be yourself. And if it risks you to feel, like, scared to be yourself, you're not the right girl for me. You gotta want to feel comfortable being yourself if you're gonna be with me. Because the one thing that I challenge every day is the fact that people want to challenge, you know, in a relationship. I bet you're saying to yourself all the time, I could change Danny, he could be better. Christina, that's the one thing I never wanted in a relationship, is trying to change anybody. I want somebody to be themselves. I want a girl that's going to be herself and love being herself, and I'm going to like her for her being herself, for her character, not for her control, not for her uh, reputation. Fuck that. But they have to want to be with me. Reputation has little to do. That's what other people think of you. True. 
So you always said about what your mom said about me, for example. Fuck her. What do I care? You know, I'm not, not putting her down by saying that, but literally, fuck what she thinks about me. Same thing with Danny, saying, saying whatever he said about me. Who cares? It's somebody else's idea of what a reputation is of me. This is Marcello right here. If I don't care about what somebody else thinks of me, then I don't care. But you have to not care either. If you want me to any... What you said, you want somebody to, to protect you, to defend you. I can't defend you if you don't trust me. And right now, and at that point when you said, we're going to break up, I'm going to do you a favor, we're going to break up, you lost my trust. Not only did you lose my trust, you showed me that I never, I never had your trust. That's what you showed me. I never had your trust. And that, 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 that cuts the cake in half right there, you know. I'm the center icing. But if you break the bread, take away the icing on top, there's no cake to eat anymore. I'm just the center icing, waiting for the bread and the icing on top. You know. It's going to take a while now. But, you know, I thank you for the experience of having my first kiss, being involved, things like that. I can thank you for that, but, you know, I can't wait for a girl to tell me I want to break up with you because then at least, at least I'll see that she doesn't feel fulfilled in the relationship. Right here, I don't know exactly what you feel. So that's why I'm hollow. I'm not going to put my, my feelings on the line when you couldn't even tell me yourself how you felt at that day. You couldn't even tell me. You instead said, we're going to break up. I'm going to do you a favor. Well, Christina, have a good life. I'm going to do you a favor and leave you alone. You don't have to be around me at all because you're not answering how you feel. You're answering how we feel. Somehow, uh, you know, me answering for my own feelings isn't enough now. <laughs> you know, not enough, of course. No, because, you know, you have to answer for that too. <laughs> you know, I, I told you to answer for my feelings. Wait, no, I, I never did actually. <laughs> so, Christina, have a good life. But I'm not going to tell you about your experiences. If you want advice, best advice in the world, don't keep secrets. I never have, really. I, and I've told you why I didn't tell you my feelings for you at the beginning. Because I knew you were, you were wanting one thing and one thing only. And when you want something, you don't challenge that. You were, you were with somebody, and that's why I told you my feelings right away. And that's why I told you the way I did, because I was like, you know, I better keep a good distance with it because I know how she is about, you know, how strongly she feels about Dustin. And I'm not putting him down in any way. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put you down in any way either. That's good. But you have to realize, you said, I know you want to be with me. Well, look, I want to be with you only if you want to be with me. I'm not going to be with you if you don't want to. It's the same thing I said to your grandma that one day when, we were all when I was talking to both of you about it. Feelings, emotion, sensitivities in one direction. Same thing I gave you, Christina, but you answered for my feelings. Once you start trying to control my feelings, you don't want an equal relationship. You say you wanted an equal relationship. I was ready to build it. Still building it. But it's not going to be with you. Sadly. You don't think I wanted it to be with you? Of course I did. I wanted the relationship to last longer, but once you answered for my feelings, the selfishness showed in your heart. It showed in what you said. We're going to break up. I'm sorry, Christina. It's not even that I can't stand for that. But that you couldn't even stand up for your own feelings to say, I want to break up because I'm not being fulfilled in this relationship. If you had said that, I would have respected it to the day I died and said, finally, not with backbone. I don't care if you're a spineless jellyfish. If I love you, I love you. You have to recognize that. There's nothing. If I love somebody for their character, that's what I love. I could care less about how they stand up or don't stand up to anybody else or their reputation. Reputation doesn't matter to me much. It's the character that counts. I like this guy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Heart. Shit, I can see those feelings coming through you. Thank you. So that's the end of it today. And I do love Catherine. And finally, the person who was attached to me, which it looked like it was Christina, finally has stopped draining me. 
It was detached this morning. Felt that the energy went away. Got up before 30 without the alarm. Felt great. The feelings, emotions, sensitivities are strong again. With no dream. Love eternal. Squander is gone. I love you. I love you.